Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have learned how to create this login and register page UIs from Dribbble. So in this video, we are going to learn how to connect our Flutter project with Firebase. And we will also learn how to authenticate our Flutter project with Firebase. Like we will do basic operations like how to sign in, sign up and sign out. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here I am in my main dot dart. As you can see, I have the hours folder, components folder and pages folder. So you can take a look at the previous video to understand more about this. So the first thing we have to do is to go to firebase.console and create a project. Let's name it chat app. You can give any name based on your choices. So I'm going to click on continue and disable this Google Analytics for this project and create a project. Once the our Firebase project is ready, click on continue. And here we have to click on build and click on authentication. And here we have to click on get started. It will take a few seconds. Let's click on email and password. And here we need to enable and we have to save it. Once we are done, we can come back to our code and inside a terminal, the first command we have to run is, let me show you. Here we have to run npm, npm install g firebase tools. This is the first command that we have to run since I have already done this, I'm going to skip this command. Next command we have to run is Firebase login. And it will show us our logged account or logged Gmail account. As you can see, I'm already logged as this account. So next command is to run Flutter pop global activate. Activate and then flutter fire cli and i think i have a uh, spelling issues so activate flutter cli and this will activate it once we are done we have to run flutter fire configure And we need to select the project that we have just created using Firebase console. Now it will show us the list of projects. As you can see, chat app that we have just created. But you can also see my other projects. So I'm going to select the chat app that we have just created. And here we have to select the platforms that we want to configure. I only want to configure Android and iOS. I don't need Mac OS, Web and Windows. So I'm going to select these two and click on enter. Once it's done, you will see new file inside your lib folder, which is Firebase Options.dart. But here you can see there is some errors and it's saying that we don't have a Firebase core package. So we are going to install it. So flutter pop at Firebase core. And you can see that this error will go away. Now we need to install one more package. I'm going to show you now in a few seconds. So let's go to terminal again and run, run flutter pop at firebase auth. This is the second command. This is another package that we have to install it. So once we are done, So once we are done, we have to go back to main.dart and inside our main function, we need to add async and inside this main function, we need to run widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialize it. And after that, we have to run await firebase dot initialize app and inside options default default flutter 
options default sorry default firebase options dot current platform and semicolon so let me show you again so we have just added async and widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialize it and we have also added await firebase dot initialize app options default firebase options dot current platform so once we are done uh, we have to basically stop the running application and then we have to run it again run without debugging and let me show you the debug console if we see any errors that means we have some problems with connecting our firebase with our flutter project but if you don't see any errors that means we have successfully connected but we we as you can see we have some errors saying that the plugin firebase auth requires a higher minimum ios deployment version than your application is targeting to build increase your application's deployment target to at least 13 as described at this link so if you see if you see this error as well then go to your project and inside your project you have ios folder then if you go to pods you will see the local pods packs click on that and here you will see the several json files and if you click on these several json files you will see the ios with a version you can see it's 13 and uh, if you check out the other json's you can also see the 13 and here it's 12 so you can go back to ios folder again and you will see the pod file click on that and we have to uncomment this platform ios 12 and we have to change it from 12 to 13 again and now i'm gonna run it again without debugging now let's see we have any errors again or not as you can see guys we don't see any errors this time so that means we have successfully connected our flutter project with firebase so now i'm gonna create a new file so we have to create a, the service for authentication so we are going to learn how to sign in first so for that uh, let's click on auth folder inside the lib folder and create a new file and let's name it auth service dart and here first we are going to create a class auth service and inside this we first we have to have an instance of auth for that i'm gonna first comment instance of auth and final firebase auth let's name it auth and firebase auth dot instance next we need to sign in sign in we also need to uh, sign up and also sign out so first we are going to sign in so for that first thing we have to do is to use future and inside that we need to use user credential and we need to give the name like sign in with email and password password so inside we need to define the string email and password and inside that we also need to add a async and inside we need to use a try and catch we want to try user credential and user credential and we need to await so auth dot sign in with email and password sign in email and password and we have to return finally we have to return user credential and after try we also need to catch it so i'm gonna use on firebase auth exception catch the error so we want to throw this error exception e dot code this will throw exception e dot code so this is pretty much it about signing you can see we are using future so you can stop the video and try to understand the code 
So basically we are using the OS, we are creating an OS service and we are having the instance of OS and here we, here we are signing. So now I'm going to go back to the login page. So also go to login page and on top you will see void login and we need to add an asynchronous for this function, login function and inside. First thing we have to do is to basically we need to have a all service that we have just created. All service. So final all service and all service. Sorry, all service. Next, we need to try logging. And for that, let's use try await all service dot sign in with email password for the email i'm gonna use email controller dot text here is my email controller as you can see on top text editing controller and for the password same password controller dot text and after i try it i'm gonna also catch it so if there is any error i'm gonna catch the error and I have to display it, so I'm going to use show dialog for that. And you can see it's showing, the context is showing error because inside this login function, we need to add a build context, context. And for the builder, I'm going to say context. And let's use alert dialog. And let's also add a comma to make it formatted so inside the alert dialog i'm gonna use title and for the text i'm gonna use e dot to string and we have to remove the const basically so this is my login function as you can see i'm using first our service final our service our service i'm trying logging try await all service dot sign in with email and password so email controller dot text and password controller dot text here i'm catching the error and displaying it using show dialog so once i'm done i have to go to bottom so here you will see the login so here i'm gonna create a function i'm gonna use a login and inside i have to use context once we are done we are not finished it yet, so I'm gonna go to my lib folder and here inside my OS folder, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna name it osgate.dart. So we have to run some code uh, to, to understand that when we logging, when we type email and password, the, we have to have a logic, you know, once we are once we enter our email and password, it should go to our homepage. So this is why we need OSGATE. So I'm gonna create a stateless widget and name it OSGATE. And I'm gonna return scaffold. So basically uh, inside a scaffold, we need to have a body and we use stream builder. And here we need to have a two things, stream and builder. For the streams, we use Firebase auth dot instance dot os state changes and for the builder we need to have a context snapshot and inside a builder we need to have a logic so when the user is logged in we need to have if snapshot has data we want to return const homepage. We don't have a homepage yet, but uh, we will create it soon. So if the user is not logged in, else return const login or register. Okay, so now let's create this homepage. So inside my pages, folder I'm gonna create a homepage dot dart stl homepage 
let's return a scaffold inside I have I need to have a app bar for the title I'm gonna say text let's make it really simple to just understand background color colors dot purple or let's say deep purple dot shade 300 and what else I think it's the color is pink right the pink color yeah and foreground color colors dot white okay now we will go back to oath gate and import this home page and once we are done let's go to main dot dart and here instead of having login or register we need to have oath gate now let's remove this unused package now we need to stop the application the running flutter project and then we have to run it again run without debugging now as you can see guys it's showing us email and password so if i go back to my project you see that we have already created email and password inside firebase console but we haven't created the users yet so let's click on users and add a user let's say test gmail.com password let's say one two three four five six and click on add user and once we are done let's create a email let's sign in let's log in so for the email let's create test gmail.com and if i uh, put a random password and login you see we have the some uh, exception in world credential because we have to uh, use this, this the correct password one two three four five six and if i log in now you will see the home page so guys we have done with sign in as you can see now we, we are inside home page now we have to learn how to sign out from this home page so for that let's go to our auth service dart and here inside sign out first we are going to use the future and it's gonna be void and let's name it sign out and it's very simple we have to return a wait so we have to use basically async here async return await auth dot sign out sign out so very very simple right future void sign out async return await auth dot sign out so now we have to go back to login or register basically we want to add some icon here as you can see so we need to go to homepage.dart so we have to make sure where we want to add this icon like logout icon so for now let's make it very very simple so in my app bar i'm gonna create inside the app bar basically create the actions inside action let's add icon button and for the button let's make it blank for now and let's add an icon icons dot logout and you'll see that we have the logout icon now um let's add a logic so let's create a function here void logout logout so here inside this logout function we need to first get the auth service get auth service final auth all service and now we need to sign out so basically auth sign out very very simple right now uh, we need to use it here inside icon button on press log out now i'm gonna restart the application and here if i click on this log out icon button you see it's now logging out now if i press login it will show me error wrong password so i have to enter the email let's say test sorry okay let's restart this sometimes it it you know stocks so test gmail.com and password one two three four five six 
file logging, you can see now we are inside the home page. We can also sign out. So guys, we have already done how to sign in and sign out. So now we will do the final operation, which is sign up. So if we click on register now, we have the create account. So for this first, we are going to go to Auth service. And inside our Auth service, we have the sign up. So to sign up, first we need to use future user credential. And let's call it sign up with email and password like we did we need to have a string email and password and it's gonna be async and here we need to try and catch try user credential user credential and we need to await os dot sign user sign in with sorry sign user i guess it's sign user with email and password right it's a uh, create i think it's create user with email and password so email and password after we try uh, we need to return user credential and we need to catch the error on Firebase OS exception, catch error. And we need to throw the exception, exception e.code. So once we are done with sign up, we have to go to register page. And on top, we have the register function. So we need to add a async. And inside this register page, first we are going to have the all service. All service. So final all, all service. And here we need to add a logic. So I want to add a logic. For example, if my password controller.txt and confirm password.controller.txt is same, then uh, is for example is not the same so, so i want to show some uh, you know dialog so for that i'm gonna write if password controller dot text and equals to confirm password controller i want to try await dot sign up with email sign up this time don't confuse it with sign in this time sign up with email and password for the email i'm gonna use email controller dot text and for the password password controller dot text so after that we need to catch the error after we try it so i'm gonna catch the error and display the dialog so like we did on login page we have the show dialog i'm gonna simply copy and paste it so here we need to add a build context and here we need to have the text a dot to string also else condition we need to add here Not here, I think here. Else, we want to also show the dialog. So if password controller.txt equals to confirm password.controller.txt, uh, then we want to try this. And otherwise, we want to, you know, show some error, show some dialog. So instead of e.string, I want to display some text. Pass passwords don't don't match passwords don't match and here we need to add the backslash passwords don't match and here i'm gonna add a const so now we go to bottom 
And here inside on press button, I'm going to return this error function and register context. So I think we are pretty much done about this function. So we have created, the, we have used the old service here and we added some logic inside our register function. So now um, let's restart the, the, our project. And now if we click on register now and for the email, let's say test to gmail.com for the passwords 123, 123, 123, 123. If I click on register, it should go to home page automatically, as you can see. Now, if I go back to Firebase and refresh this page, you will see that the new email, right? Try again, okay? You can see the test to gmail.com. So if I sign out and enter test gmail.com, the first password and one, two, three, four, five, six, login, it will not work because I think it's test gmail.com, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess the password was correct. Yes, this one, home page, as you can see. Everything is working. So in this video, we have learned how to connect our Flutter project with Firebase. And we also learned how to authenticate our Flutter project with uh, Firebase. Like we have performed basic operations like sign in, sign up, and sign out. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I will see you in the next videos.